What's up everybody? It's your reigning, defending, undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world and now, uh, now you're one half of your YouTube wrestling tag team champions. Trina Morris here as I am here to talk about WWE 2016 Battleground. These are my predictions. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the draft a little. And we're gonna um, we're gonna say okay this is what happened this is what happened we're gonna talk about it so let's get on with our f as I got the laptop you guys remember the laptop is also it was my first camera that posted all the videos if you want to know what videos it posted check out the ones from the one after the Mickey post all the way to the apology from the White Devil that was the last video that I made with this with the laptop now I'm using my phone. Uh, that you guys know, and of course you guys know how I I, I officially named me, and one of my uh, one of the guys that's helped me with the with the YouTube channel, Chris Kaiser. He's also the other half of the tag team champions. He doesn't have a channel yet, but I'm hopefully probably gonna help him out. And I also told him off camera that maybe he will get a shot at this soon. Soon, when I get to see Chris Kaiser, we will be having our match sooner or later, whenever you want. So, Chris, watch out. We're going to have a match soon. So, stay tuned to a match on the channel. Hope it's going to be awesome. Maybe, who knows? Maybe we might have a new champion. You never know. We could have a new champion. We could have me still as your champion. So, Battleground Predictions, here we go. Sorry. Alright. The first match we're going to talk about is the WWE Championship match since the brand, uh, and now it's a SmackDown versus Raw versus Raw match between the WWE Champion Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. This is the first time that we're going to be seeing the Shield uh, together for a long time, so this is going to be really fun. Dean Ambrose is now the WWE Champion, and he's on SmackDown right now. Seth Rollins is on Raw. He was our first draft pick. Dean Ambrose was the second draft pick, but he was on SmackDown. Seth Rollins is the first Raw pick. Roman Reigns was the second... I mean, no, he wasn't the second Raw uh, pick. He was... He was like the fourth. Yeah, he was the fourth. Because it was Seth Rollins, Charlotte, and Finn Balor that got picked the first three. And then it was Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and a New Day. Uh, so, we're here to talk about uh, what happened. Uh, so, it's a SmackDown versus Raw versus Raw match for the WWE Championship, which I am really happy to see this match that's going on. I mean, I've been dreaming of this match for a long time between. Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns to uh, gather one on one on one. And remember, doesn't matter who pin, uh, who gets pinned. If uh, Rollins or Reigns pins either one of the Shield, they're the new champion. If Ambrose either pins Roman or Rollins, he's still the champ, and we'll have the championship on SmackDown. By the way, I'm on Team SmackDown. You'll find out why later on in the video. Actually, you'll probably find out about it soon. So. My prediction between Rollins, Reigns, and Ambrose. I think Mc, uh, Stephanie or Mick Foley might get in the way of this match and try to help Seth Rollins help out with this. But then I also see Shane and Daniel Bryan coming in to help out with Dean Ambrose. I see this going on to be one heck of a main event tonight. As tonight in like two hours, I know I'm posting this really late, but I had time and I didn't think about it. I was being stupid. Plus, I was kind of bored, and I was thinking, why not make a little YouTube video? And because I was thinking about doing my first prediction back of SummerSlam, I was thinking about doing that since this will be like my third SummerSlam, fourth, fourth or third. It's my third. Because 2014 with Brock Lesnar and Cena was my first. Rollins and Cena was my. I mean, Lesnar and Taker was my second. This next one, Orton and Lesnar, is my third. But um. But stay tuned to figure out I uh, what we're gonna do about it. But my prediction: Ambrose retains the title, the 
title stays on SmackDown. Alright, the next match is the club, aka AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows versus John Cena, Enzo Amore, and Big Cass. Bottom boom, coolest team in the room. How you doing? And so, this is the last time we will see John Cena, Enzo, and Cass together as a team. And this is the last time we'll see the club as a team for a little while. Because the club, aka Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, they're on Raw. Meanwhile, the phenomenal AJ Styles is on SmackDown. John Cena it was the third pick to be chosen to be on SmackDown. That's why I'm on Team SmackDown instead of Team Raw. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Finn Balor. You guys know that Finn Balor is my favorite NXT superstar. And don't get me wrong, I do like Seth Rollins. I do not like Roman Reigns. I do like Brock Lesnar. I do like The New Day. But when you have John Cena and the phenomenal AJ Styles on SmackDown, it's just my automatic choice. But, um, so it's the end of the club, but the club is still on both brands, and they're going to uh, try to take over both brands and be champions. Meanwhile, Cena, Enzo, and Cass are going to do that. Meanwhile, the club is going to do hashtag beat up Cena, John Cena, which has been trending a little bit. But I'm here to say the club is going to be history. Cena and Enzo and Cass are going to win. I mean, Enzo and Cass is such a formidable team, but Cena, along with them, is one, is an unstoppable team. It's one of the best teams you can see. So my prediction, John Cena, Enzo, and Cass, of course, is always my prediction that Cena wins every match for me. So Cena, Enzo, and Cass is my pick. Alright, the next match, the end of an era. I mean, maybe what is now the final battle between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are both on Raw now because of Stephanie and Mick Foley picking. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to see Owens on Raw, thankfully. I mean, I wouldn't even like to see Owens on anything. I really hate Owens. Owens is my least favorite wrestler in the entire thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, he started off good, but this is one of my, this is a good rivalry that I like, but Sami Zayn needs to uh, get this win so he can further on his career and be more of a champion. I mean, Sa Kevin Owens has already had a good start in the WWE. I mean, he's had the NXT title, he's had the Intercontinental Championship twice, meanwhile Sami Zayn's only had, what, the NXT title once? And he's only had a couple good matches in NXT with, like, maybe Neville, Finn Balor, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Owens has never fucked Shinsuke Nakamura. And if Owens did, he probably would have cheated to win. But I would have said Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura would have been that. But in this match, Owens really doesn't need this uh, win that much. I mean, he's had a good uh, run around. I mean... He's fought John Cena a few times when Cena was the United States Champion. Now he's moving on to fight Sami Zayn. And my prediction, Sami Zayn needs to have this win. Sami Zayn is the biggest underdog in this match, and I'm wanting Sami Zayn to win. This is, like, a must win for Sami. Alright, the next match is... Don't you dare be sour! Clap! For your world famous two time champs and feel the power! It's a new day, yes it is! The New Day versus the Wyatt family. Now, this is the last time we will see the Wyatt family together as Braun Strowman is on Raw. Meanwhile, Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan are on SmackDown. And the New Day stayed together as they were the sixth draft pick on Raw. As Braun Strowman could probably have like a three on one against the New Day. But as Raw has the women's title, the United States title, and the tag team titles, uh, SmackDown only has the WWE Championship and the Intercontinental Championship held by The Miz and the WWE title held by Dean Ambrose. 
Soon, probably, they will have the World Heavyweight Championship as well. Hopefully, they do not have to uh, do like this thing where, oh, Dean Ambrose stays on Raw and SmackDown, and he fights Raw. He, he fights these guys on Raw. He fights these guys on SmackDown. Raw and SmackDown comes together, and they fight in like one big, gigantic match. No, I want to see Raw have their perspective title like they did several years from, from like 2002 to 2013. Like, I love those matches where they had those. Because you had the WWE Champion on SmackDown. You had the World Heavyweight Champion on Raw. And then you'd switch them around sometimes. The World Heavyweight Champion be on SmackDown. WWE Champion be on Raw. And then also in 2013, they combined the titles. And, and it was basically together brands. You both got together. And whoever wanted to shut the title, they got one. And then if you didn't win, oh well, you got the back line unless they gave you another shot. But New Day versus the Wyatts. This is gonna be the last uh, time the Wyatts be already together in a New Day. Are they still gonna be together as the WWE World Tag Team Champions? My prediction is the New Day has to win it, but I kind of see Xavier Woods because this is kind of what I was thinking because. You remember that night when they mocked the Wyatts and the Wyatts got in Xavier Woods' head and then the next week on Raw, Xavier Woods flipped down on him and told him, don't you see that this is going to be, they've already intimidated as the most fierce of all opponents that we've ever faced. Get this in your head and stop uh, goofing around. I see a disciple going on to Raw to team up with Braun Strowman for a bit. And I see Xavier Woods doing that. But my prediction is the Wyatt family wins this match because of Xavier Woods betraying them. But I kind of don't want to say that. I kind of want to say the New Day wins this. But I'm going to say the Wyatt family wins this match just to help it out. Okay. So next match. Sasha Banks and a partner, the mystery partner versus Charlotte and Dana Brooke. Ooh, mystery partner. This is actually going to be a tough one. Because we can either see an NXT diva. We could see Nia Jack, my, Nia Jax. We could see Bailey. We could see Asuka. We could see Nikki Bella's return tonight. We could see uh, Paige. We could see, well, we can't see Brie because she's retired now. Ooh. Heck, Charlotte or Dana Brooke could betray on one another, and they could be Sasha Banks' partner. Hmm. This is kind of rough. How are we going to name person to do it? I'm going to, all right, I'm going to name this down. I want to say Nikki Bella returns tonight, and Sasha Banks... And Nikki Bella beat Charlotte and Dana Brooke, and then Sasha Banks will fight Charlotte at SummerSlam and beat Charlotte for the women's title. All right, next match. We're going to make Darren Young great again as The Miz fights Darren Young for the Intercontinental Championship. Don't mind this. I know this is the YouTube Wrestling Championship of the world, but still, it is also the Intercontinental title, and I use it to show off on who's going to fight. So, Miz with Maurice fights Darren Young with Bob Backlund for the Intercontinental Championship. This and another title match, I see title changing hands. Because literally, the WWE Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, and the United States title are the only three titles that are being defended, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're the only three titles that are being defended by by the champions tonight. Dean Ambrose is defending, Miz is defending, and Rusev's defending. And we'll get to Rusev's match pretty soon. So, Darren Young won a battle royal because Paul Cruz and Dar Baron Corbin uh, threw each other over the top rope, and Darren Young was the last man standing because they didn't focus on Darren Young. And Darren Young's had all this like motivation with um 
with Bob Backlund where we saw these segments which are pretty kind of which were pretty funny of Bob Backlund and Darren Young trying to make Darren Young great again. I mean, are you kidding me? That's so funny to have Bob Backlund and the Miz. I mean, not the Miz. Uh, freaking Darren Young as together. But Miz is such a disgrace to me in a Continental Championship. I mean, not only are you bringing... You're just going to movie sets and you're keeping the Intercontinental Championship with you instead of coming on a Raw the next night and defending and then going back to your movie set the next night. Like, literally, the only way he uh, is keeping the Intercontinental Championship without almost getting beaten by Kane was because Maurice acted like she hurt her ankle. That's a cheap way to win. I really wanted the Miz to lose that night because he's just being a really big disgrace to the Center Continental Championship. And Miz and Darren Young go one on one. I gotta say, Darren Young beats the Miz one on one. Darren Young is our new Intercontinental Champion. Alright. Next match, the United States Championship match. Rusev takes on number one contender and a former United States Champion. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. I hope this actually shows. It's probably this, but it's also this because sometimes my camera actually does this. It actually shows the rotation where this shows forward like this. So I'll do this. Zack Bratter goes one-on-one -on -one with Rusev for the Intercontinental Champion, not the Intercontinental, United States Championship with Lana in Rusev's corner. Rusev has actually been on a pretty good roll, but I kind of see Zack Ryder winning, but I also see Rusev retaining. <sighs> such a big decision, such a big decision, such a big decision. This one I haven't think, thought of because we have like three other things that I've been kind of thinking of. I've been thinking about the New Day versus the Whites. I've been thinking about Cena's match. I've been thinking about the Triple Threat Shield match. I've been thinking about uh, Sasha Banks' match. I've been thinking about the highlight reel, which I'm about to talk about next. But, um, it goes on a Raw. I don't know why my phone just rang. Sorry. About it, but Zack Ryder and Rusev are going one on one, and thankfully, this is going to be a really good match. I'm wanting to say, I'm wanting to say, Rusev loses the United States Championship tonight. I mean, loses the United States Championship. Zack Ryder, I believe, is going to win the Inter United States title and then going to lose it again, just like he did with the Intercontinental Championship. Hmm. Next thing, the highlight there with the returning, the Viper, Randy Orton. Now, I've been waiting for Randy Orton's return for a while, and they announced his return, especially after a couple weeks ago when they announced that it's official that Brock Lesnar will fight Randy Orton at SummerSlam, which I'm thinking is going to be a really good match. Even though I kind of would have said Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar would have been a really good rematch since they didn't really have their fair one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania 31 for the championship. I mean, that would have been a really good match to see Roman Reigns go in and defending against Brock Lesnar and seeing who actually is the better man since there ain't no money in a bank briefcase because of Dean Ambrose cashing in. But Randy Orton versus Brock Lesnar is going to go good. I can't wait to see how Raw and actually I can't wait to see how SmackDown is going to do with Randy Orton, how Brock Lesnar is going to do on Raw for now. 
because they're both on different shows. How's that match actually going to happen? But I got to say, it's going to be like an interview talking about Randy Orton versus, versus Brock Lesnar with Chris Jericho. But I got to say, I got to say, Randy Orton's going to hit an RKO out of nowhere at least once tonight. If he doesn't, I'm going to be really mad. All right, so we're going to talk about the kickoff match before we talk about the next deep, the final Divas match. The kickoff match, Usos versus Breezango. Breezango's, first I gotta tell you guys, Breezango's theme, theme is freaking an awesome combination. I don't know how they did it with Fandango and Tyler Breeze's theme song together, but they mastered it, and I really like how they did it. Like they did with, um, like how they did with, uh, uh, the Golden Truth. I like how they did theirs, and I like how they did with Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust when they were together. And how, um, Raid RKO. I like how they did theirs together. But, um, hmm. I gotta say Brizongo wins. I mean, they haven't had a win as a tag team in a long time. And I can't remember where Brizongo goes. I think they're on SmackDown. And the Usos are on Raw. I think this is another SmackDown vs. Raw match. I don't know. I got the I got the video... I got the photo on my phone, but I can't use it right now because I'm recording a video for you guys. So... Usos versus Brizongo. Brizongo is gonna win by cheap victory. I don't know. They might like hit a little blow or rake to the eyes, or they might like find a way to win. But yeah, my prediction: Brizongo is gonna win. It's gonna happen in like 40 minutes. All right, Becky Lynch versus Natalya. This is the final match I'm gonna talk about, and then and then we're gonna uh, have fun tonight watching Battleground live tonight at. 8 p.m. kickoff starts at 7, and we're gonna see Usos versus Brizongo while the uh, the analyst table is gonna talk about all the matches that I just talked about now, along with the highlight reel. And that's probably actually what they're gonna start off with. They're either gonna start off with a championship match, or they're gonna start off with the highlight reel. But I'm really thinking that they're probably gonna do like. Becky Lynch and Natalia or the highlight reel. But Becky Lynch and Natalia, they betrayed each Natalia betrayed her after she lost her a tag match with Dana Brooke and Charlotte versus Becky Lynch and Natalia. That match they actually Natalia betrayed their her and they, WWE was actually trying to get Becky Lynch to be a heel. But they didn't. They, that didn't work. I didn't try to uh, get that because then all of a sudden Natalia got to be a heel. Which actually I think is actually kind of a good road for Natalia to go down. Because she hasn't been a heel since Beth Phoenix has been around. I mean, since Beth Phoenix was around. I miss you, Beth Phoenix. But, um, well, she's going around with Edge right now. She's going out with Edge. I think she's married to Edge. And then Christian. I don't know who he's married to. But, um,. I feel like Becky Lynch is going to beat Natalia because she needs this win against Natalia just to get things going. And I'm predicting that it's going to be really one hell of a match. But in my prediction, I say Becky Lynch is going to win. Okay? All right. That's awesome. So, so I thank every single one of you guys for watching this video. Please, if you are, want to comment, comment below the favorite match that I just talked about. I mean, comment the, uh, below of what match do you think was going to be the best, or if you are watching this after Battleground, please comment below your favorite match of the night, and comment below what do you think of my predictions. Do you think you had different outcomes and predictions? Did you think that something different was going to happen on Battleground? If you had different reactions, please comment below. I really like the comments, and like... I, I also give a like right here and also subscribe to that hands and face down there and also share this with your friends because this is actually a good channel and if you wanna 
And if you want to give me a good comment and saying how well I'm doing or you got a hate comment, go ahead. Who knows? Maybe soon enough I'll do a reading your comments video sooner or later. But I thank every single one of you guys for watching it. So.